Hey folks, I'm so excited. My snakes came, so I'm gonna show them to you. I already cut the box open and um, I got the snakes from Kendra um, at Puget Sound Pythons. Oh, that's backwards, isn't it? Well, it says Puget Sound Pythons, owner operator, Kendra Westy. She is on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, she's also on Morph Market, Puget Sound Pythons at gmail.com. Kendra was a joy to work with. She was so kind. She was prompt. She was professional. Um, she also was a genius because she used poly fiber fill in her box. <laughs> Smart girl. So let me show you what I got from her. Um, I already have uh, black pastel um, het pieds, and I have a visual pied, and I have a cine pied, uh, no, a cine het pied. And um, so I thought when I saw these that it would make a really good addition. Um, so let me show you first the girl. No, the boy. Now we decided to name him Shadow. And he's teeny tiny. He's teeny tiny. Okay, let's have a look. Not in focus very well, but look at his colors. And look at his pattern on his side there. It is gorgeous. His head is beautiful. And he really is very friendly. I had him down and he like this and he came over and got up on my hand. Um, so I was quite surprised at that. But So here's my male um, black pastel head albino. Now what's interesting is my black pastel head pieds have a, um, a solid line pretty much most of the way down um, but this boy has a very broken dorsal it's not I wouldn't even call it a dorsal stripe until you get down here to the very tail and I'm wondering if that is like a het um, albino thing I don't know if you know maybe you can tell me so I'm going to put him back in his bag for just a second or just a minute while I get out the girl <laughs> Get in there, buddy. Okay. Now, I already had the girl out, and she's in defensive mode, I'll tell you. She's bigger, and she's been pretty much in a S back up raised position. So, I'm going to be putting her into a tub and leaving her alone for a while. And then, uh, let her get acclimated, and then I'm going to... Um, spend a lot of time working with her. Okay, let's have a look here. Look at that. She is a um, black pastel head albino. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that belly. Now, I would like to know what are the markers that tell you because I don't know I've okay I got my first um, ball python a year ago at the age of 51 so I have and I will tell you right up front I have no I am not good at identification I am trying so hard are there markers that show that she is het albino or do you just know she's het albino because of her parents um, if you could explain that to me, it would be helpful. So I'm going to put these guys in their tubs. They're very cold. Um, they did have a heat pack, but um, like they were really, really cold. Let's see if I can focus in on it. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. And um, see, now that, <laughs> how she's up, she's so defensive. Um, I'm going to do another video. I don't know if I'm going to get to it tonight or tomorrow, but 
Um, I'm going to be showing you my little snake set up here. It's like the corner of the room. Um, <coughs> I live in a very old farmhouse and it's small and there's not a lot of room. So I have nine snakes now. And I want to show you what I've done and ask for your input on what changes I should make. Now, I did order some tubs and they will be here in a few weeks. And my husband is making me racks to go with the tubs. And there will be tubs for like 22 snakes or so. Um, until then, I would love to have you look at my setup and, and tell me what changes I need to make. Um, so, thanks for watching. <laughs> look at her. Look at me, man. She's turning her head slowly like she is just getting ready to just let go at me. Um, man, a year ago, a year ago, I was terrified of snakes. Both me and my daughter were. I mean, we were scared to death. And I um, do have a YouTube video called Pages Plog. That's Pages Python Log. So Pages Plog, where I've only done a few videos showing me getting used to my first snakes and showing me trying to um, get over my fear of snakes. Um, and then I didn't really post anything for a long time because I didn't have anything to post. So... Um, one of these days I will have some things to put on my YouTube page. At Pages Plog. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.